This is the Isheen EW30, and it's a budget FPV headset with dual displays. They're 480 by 360, 2 inches, and have a 4-3 aspect ratio. It supports 48 channels with antenna diversity, which is not true diversity. There's only one receiver in here. It has a 60 to 68 millimeter IPD range. It has a DVR, as well as USB charging and AV in. It comes with a pair of linear polarized antennas and a USB cable. The instructions are adequate, but there doesn't appear to be any way to turn off the OSD. So let's open this thing up. We've got five screws holding it together. One of them is covered by a little QC label. After you've removed those, it just pops right open. You don't have to tear the face foam if you don't want to. You can just fold it back like this. This is really easy to take apart. Everything's connected to this single board. There's a 1S 950 milliamp hour battery. Fortunately, the battery wasn't taped in here, so it came out easily. We've got a number of screws holding the main board in, and once they've been removed, you just push the antennas to pop it out. So let's have a close look at the internals. We've got two displays, and they are enclosed in these black boxes with circular Fresnel lenses on either side. We can see that there is only one receiver in here, so this is not true diversity, but I'm really happy they got a DVR in here. Let's try to get a look at the display serial numbers. We got some tape here, and it's kind of overlapped, so this is about as far as we're gonna go. I just wanted to power them up outside the enclosure. Here's a quick look inside, and here's a close look at the main board. So we've got USB charging, DVR, and AV in. So I'd say these are most closely related to the Top Sky Prime 2, which is essentially a failed product. I don't think they're selling them anymore, but it's uh, really similar. It has true diversity with two receivers, as well as a DVR, and it had a lot of quality control issues, so that probably explains the failure. It weighs a lot more than the EW30, but I think it handled colors a lot better. The EW30 is just a bit too cool for my liking, and they both have about the same pixel density, which is not too great, but um, the picture is acceptable. Next, I'd like to compare it to the EV800DM, which is a newer goggle by Yixing. This has a single telescoping display, which can help with your eye strain. But for me, it just doesn't telescope quite enough to fully eliminate the eye strain, but it is a lot better than the original EV800. If you compare the two displays here though, the EV800DM has a much better display, much sharper, and the colors are much better. So for about $20, $30 more, you can get a much better product in my opinion. It also has a DVR and it has true diversity, so it's a fully featured headset. Now let's watch a little DVR. This is the Emacs Tiny Hawk. And I'm using the stock antennas, so this is the kind of reception you should expect right out of the box. I don't think the reception is very good, and um, it's hard to say if it's better or worse than some of the budget goggles, but uh, I think it might be a little bit worse. One nice thing about these is they don't strain my eyes too bad. In fact, I think this is the first budget headset I've used that didn't give me a massive headache after flying. So my final thoughts, I think these are decent for the price. I'm happy that they have a DVR in there, but the reception isn't too great. It does have AVN, so if you can find a way to hook up a diversity receiver to this, you might just be able to get some pretty decent reception out of it. But if that's the case, you might as well just buy something like the Isheen EV800DM, which already has diversity and a nicer display. Reception aside, the big problem here is that there's no way to turn off the overlay on top of your video feed. I really don't like that, and I tried every combination of button presses that I could think of to turn it off, but there just doesn't seem to be any way to disable that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more FPV content, and drop a like. Thank you. Bye.